it's your boy Stretch Benz in this bitch. You feel me? I told y'all niggas I'm about to come out with some more shit. So I got y'all niggas with a story time. All right, this is like a year ago. Wait, for first, all you bitch ass niggas that don't be liking the video and not subscribe, please do that for the one time, for the one time, one time, please. But uh, this is a year ago. I'm with my right hand man. The same niggas I be with every day. If you know me, you know who the fuck I be with. If you don't, uh, you know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, nigga, this shit was a year ago. Me and my homies, we all used to have the same job. We used to work at Walmart. No cap. When we was working at Walmart, we just be on some just like three musketeers, dumb and dumber dickhead shit all day, every day. I swear it was like the best time ever though. Cause it was me and my niggas, you feel me? Me and my right hands, man, is up in fucking Walmart. But we finished work, whatever, that day. And then the homie, he's over here like, all right, let's go take some pictures downtown. And then we're like, all right, bet. Brody picked both of us up, <laughs> you feel me? We take these pictures downtown and all this shit. And then when we're walking back to the car, this one just like this one white nigga like his whole just thing was just off I, I, like it already fell off when we was just looking at the nigga he walked up he looked at all of us and he's like um you guys got nicotine and then we're like no and then the homie was like smiling because we were over here cracking jokes and shit right before that so i don't know if this nigga took the shit as disrespect or what this nigga's shoulder checked my nigga and we all just looked at this nigga like did this nigga really just like hold on we was stepping to that nigga right after that. Like, no bullshit. And then he reached, like, like he got a, a knife or some shit. We're like, what the fuck? And we were just like, fuck it. We just started walking back to the car. And then as soon as we get into the car, bro's over here like, fuck that shit. I'm over here on my get back shit. Like, we gonna go get this nigga. I'm like, I don't know. He gave us the motivational speech, nigga. He started cracking some motherfucking, uh, what the fuck was this nigga playing? He was playing some young pappy, nigga. And we was just like, on demon time, like, nigga. It's just the three musketeers, bro. Just me and the homies. When this shit happened, we're just, like, driving around. We're driving around downtown and shit, doing loops and all that. We finally find this nigga. This nigga, he's, like, standing on this street. And this street, on the whole other side, there's a just big-ass hotel. So the homie parks his car. I forgot to say this. The homie just got uh, some new dunks on off of motherfucking, what is that shit called? The sneakers up? He got new fucking dunks, some high top blue ones. So he's over here. He's walking in them bitches. I'm walking in forces. I think the other homie has forces on or he has some dunks. But um, we see this nigga, we catch him. Bro park to the side. We start creeping up the street or whatever. And then this nigga, I'm peeping this shit. I don't know if they peeped it. But this nigga, he's over here, like, checking some female for, I think, the same shit. Like, he was just going around just asking people for nicotine, just fucking with everybody. And then we're, like, creeping. And then I'm thinking I'm just, like, in enough space to just, or I'm going to just crack this nigga. I promise you I'm trying to knock this nigga fucking head off. But um, when we seen this nigga, let's say the space is, like, this big. These niggas are still creeping. I'm like, I'm ready in my head. And that's where I fucked up. I start running. I'm, mm, I start running. I cock my fucking fist back. I throw a punch. This nigga has like, I don't know. This nigga has ultra instinct or some shit. This nigga said, weave? Skid the back of his head. This nigga starts running as fast as he fucking can. There's cars just going through the street and all this shit. This nigga's like motherfucking... Julio Jones out this bitch. I promise you, like, bro, this nigga put the jets on as soon as he knew he was about to get packed the fuck out by three niggas. This nigga just went times two speed on a nigga. And we're over here running after this nigga. And then he finally make it to these motherfucking hotels. Fuck, I wish I had bro's video, but uh, we was running after this nigga. He kicked off his dunks. <laughs> he said, look at you running like a bitch. You was a bitch. I was like, oh, we chase this nigga to this hotel and then he starts hiding in the lobby and then I don't know if he what he told the, the little lobby people, but 
The nigga's just acting like a bitch. We're watching him from the outside because I'm not about to go up in there and have cameras on my face and go stomp this nigga the fuck out. I'm like, nigga, are you fucking crazy? But um, we see that nigga in there. And then everybody's just looking at us because when we were running by, we ran past like some some old black niggas, some just random ass people. Just everybody was just looking at us like we were just crazy. And then we just took off for a second and then we spinned again. We go back, we spin again, we see 12 right there. They're sitting right in the front. I don't know if the lobby people called or whatever, but 12 is right in the front. So we're like, no, we can't even do this shit. And then as soon as we thought the motherfuckers is coming, nigga ran back to the car. I got a fucking battle scar on my chest from the fucking, this nigga car door. I promise you, I'm not going to show that shit. But um, then after that, the homie, he's like, all right, let's just go to, uh, what is this called? The come and go next to my house or whatever. And then we do. They go get something to drink or whatever. And then I I was just like, bro, just fuck that shit. Just leave it alone and all that shit. And he was like, nah, that nigga was determined. He was like, all right. He was not going for no disrespect. I promise you. But after that shit happened, he said, fuck that shit. I'm about to go back and go get this nigga, even if I got to go get him myself. And me and the homies look at each other like, damn, we're not about to just leave this nigga and just... You, you never know what the fuck happened with these fucking tweakers downtown, but that shit happened. We go back downtown. We just, we patrolling. I promise you, we patrolling downtown, just going back and forth, back and forth, nigga. And then after that shit, it's just, we found this nigga again. And this is the, probably like the third time. Yeah, I said the third time we found this nigga. This nigga's getting chased by two fat niggas. Two fat niggas that look like the Daily Boys. I promise you. And then he's in the middle of the street. They're just chasing this nigga. This nigga hits a little in and out motherfucking. I don't know if he tore this nigga ACL. This nigga, the fat nigga was on the ground. Like, nigga, he was grabbing his leg. He said, oh, my leg's fucked up. I'm like, damn, is you good? Like, as soon as we got out the car, we, we parked, like, down the street. And we started running. And I was like, damn, are you good? Because I seen that nigga get juked, nigga. And I was like, damn. <laughs> but... That nigga, he's like, nah, fuck that shit. Go get him. I turn around. This nigga, uh, the other homie, let's say, okay, we got homie one and homie two. Homie one was the one that was driving. Homie two is the other homie. You feel me? Homie two, he's over here chasing this nigga in the middle of the street and all this shit, but he's weaving shit. Like, I don't know. This nigga has motherfucking superpowers. I promise you on my dead homies, like, but... That nigga, he starts chasing this nigga, and then my bro, my bro, he get out of breath. After that shit, this nigga gets caught in this little rant, railing in the corner, like it was a little rail. And I could tell this nigga was exhausted, because nigga, you been running around for motherfucking three, four hours checking niggas for some motherfucking nicotine, you fucking junkie. That's what I be saying, but caught this nigga. I caught this nigga, I promise you, it felt like my redemption day, because I fucked up, and I was like, damn, I fucked up the whole mission, we're not gonna get this shit back, but nigga, I came back, I grabbed this nigga, and then it happens again, I throw a punch, he weaves that bitch, and then I grabbed this nigga again by his hoodie, he's like, no, bro, just stop, just stop, just stop, I was like, what is up, what is up with all this just stop shit, when, when he was over here trying to act like you had a knife, nigga, I hit this nigga in the back of his head, bow! This nigga head go forward like this. All I see is homie number one that's driving the car that got hit with the uh, the shoulder check. Oh, runs up. Bow, uppercut. That nigga dropped to the floor instantly. This nigga just throwing fist of fucking fury to this nigga chest. He wham, 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 wham. This is the fastest I've ever seen this nigga punch. And this is the first time like I've seen this nigga like fight and get like super violent. Like he's the laid back homie. He don't... Isn't he ain't no bitch, but he's just laid back. He's more laid back than all of us. And for me to see that, I was like, damn, he's fucking him up. Then the two fat niggas that I said that looked like the fucking deli boys, they come over and they just start packing this nigga the fuck out. Oh my goodness. Like the homie just said, he was like, I was punching on them and them fat niggas just started fucking them up. So they were fucking on my hand. So I backed up, but they were fucking them up. The homie started kicking on this nigga or whatever out of nowhere. And then the whole time, the security for this downtown club is right over there. They're watching the whole thing, but they're not giving a fuck because they, I, I'm pretty sure they seen dude over here just fucking around with everybody outside for some nicotine or whatever. 
And then they're just watching. And I was like, let's go, let's go. I said, I don't want the security coming over here tripping and shit. They might fuck around tase us or some shit. I'm, I don't know. I just, I was just trying to think how to get the fuck out of there because we had so many people around. But um, after that shit, um, some random, random ass bitch. She, she was looking right, you know what I'm saying? She was looking right. But some random bitch come out of nowhere. She said, no, get off of him, no. And we all just looked at her like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, do you not know what this nigga's done the whole night? Like, this nigga deserves this ass whipping. God wouldn't have made us whoop this nigga ass for no reason, nigga. That, that's all I'm saying. But, nigga, that shit happened. And then there's, like, this motherfucking, I don't know if it's, like, a diner or a restaurant. It was, like, right next to it. The nigga that, I don't even know if you run the restaurant. Some nerd ass nigga's gonna come out. You, you motherfuckers need to get out of here. Like, being all weird and shit. Like, I... I was ready to just sock him too. It was just the negative energy was coming out. But after that shit happened, we're running back to the car. Homie dropped his shoe. And then one of the ladies that work at the restaurant, I thought she was gonna keep his shoe and be like, oh no, you're gonna stay here and be responsible. She was cool. And then the, the weird the weird ass nigga that came out and that motherfucker shit, he's a weirdo. This nigga's like, oh, so you're really gonna give him back his shoe? Like, what you weird ass nigga? Like, I don't know. Niggas be weird. Especially when they don't be knowing all the facts, but nigga, we got that get back. I promise you, I had to get that get back from my man. My man said he wanted to spin, so we spin and we beat the shit out that nigga. He really deserved it. I wish I could show the videos, but <laughs> that shit because bro got his ass after he beat him up. He he put him got a little snatch at this nigga. He said, "Yeah, you bitch ass nigga." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> bro." I promise you that shit was just it, it was a crazy ass night. It's crazy, crazy, crazy night. But if y'all was rocking with this story, talk about like, comment, subscribe, share this to all your people. And I'm serious, nigga. Like the video. The shit is free, nigga. It's free.